What's going on YouTube? We are here to start a new career mode. On what team, may you ask? Well, obviously, we're gonna do the team that I support in real life, Newcastle United. Now, this is gonna be an interesting career mode. We're gonna play until we win the Champions League. We are gonna take Newcastle to new heights. We have the money, we have the backing. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna play as a real manager here. We're gonna take over as Eddie Howe. That's what we're gonna do, take over as Eddie Howe. All right, the good thing about starting out with Newcastle United is that their expectations aren't very high. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna have time to rebrand the team without getting the sack. That's very important. I'm bad at FIFA, but we're not that bad at FIFA. Uh, we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna start out on professional here. If we are, we're not gonna play every match, of course. We're only gonna play probably only only a few matches throughout this career mode. We're focusing on rebuilding. Of course, if we do play a match and we absolutely blow them out of the water, then we will up the difficulty. Let me know if you want me to up the difficulty in the comment section down below. I, I wanna do dollars, but we wanna make this realistic using Sterling. I don't want international job offers. Uh, loose transfer window enabled. Let's advance here. European International Cup. We're gonna pick the one with the most money available. We're gonna get that transfer budget up. That's what we're doing. So Newcastle United in real life has actually made some amazing improvements to their team. We have the likes of St. Maximin, who's a baller. I think Joe Willick has good potential in this game. Bruno Guimaraes is gonna be the heart of our midfield for a long time. Kieran Trippier, an amazing captain, but he is 31 years old. I believe he's 31, right? He's 31, he's getting old. We're gonna to have to find a replacement for him. Nick Pope, Nick Pope, an amazing goalkeeper. I don't know what his potential is gonna be like in this game. Maybe we'll have to find a replacement. You never know. On the bench, I don't know why he's on the bench. We're gonna be starting Alexander Isaac. Amazing striker, great potential. Uh, let's see who else we have. We're gonna need to make some improvements on the bench, definitely. Jacob Murphy, we're gonna be bringing him into the team as well as Elliot Anderson, the Gordy Maradona. We are this, this kid here, this kid right here is going to be the future of this club. And we will make sure that we develop him into the next Gordy Maradona. We are gonna un unlock his full potential. Hopefully, hopefully we have to be good managers first. We have to be good managers first. As you can see, we're gonna be selling a lot of players. We're gonna be getting that squad depth a lot better because <laughs> this bench is looking kind of, kind of, kind of. Obviously, we need to make some improvements. I don't know what Matty Target's uh, potential is like in this game. We may need to replace him. We'll see how much he grows. I nah, As much as Almiron is balling in real life right now, his potential, I don't think it goes any higher. So I think, Unfortunately, Almiron's gonna have to be one of the first people that we replace. As much as I love him in real life, FIFA just did him dirty. FIFA has done him dirty. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, as we know in career mode in FIFA 23, it's 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 very dependent on how you do objectives. Not so much in other years, but this year it's very dependent on how we do objective here. So let's focus on Oh, brand exposure, get us win streak. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to do that. We'll be able to do that. Sign a player from a different nationality from the one of the club. That's going to be easy. Okay, we should be able to take care of that. Oh, youth Academy. I don't know if we're going to focus a lot on the Youth Academy in this. Um, let me know in the comment section if you want us to focus on the Youth Academy. Uh, if, we, if you want us to focus on the Youth Academy, we'll focus on the Youth Academy. But let me know in the comment section down below. Sign two players under than 20. Okay, you know what? We should be we should be okay our confidence rating hopefully shouldn't drop we should do pretty well but but let's go ahead and see the board this season is giving us 71 million to work with that is actually really good once we sell some players we'll get some players in here and hopefully we'll be able to do a lot with that 71 million now going through this club we're gonna have a lot of players that we're just gonna need to get rid of they're not gonna they're not gonna be of any use to us so unfortunately I think Paul Dummett, I, I think you've got to go, brother. You've been a very good servant to this club. 
but unfortunately, I don't think you're going to find a place here at Newcastle United. Jamal Lascelles, if we don't get another replacement, I think he may stay, but we're going to have to see about Jamal Lascelles. He may be on the chopping block. Mankio, as good as you've been in the past, I think it's time for you to go, buddy. I just don't see you getting any playing time. Jacob Murphy and Miguel Almiron, we've talked about these two on great form in real life. Unfortunately, in the game, I don't think it's going to work out for us. I, don't, I just don't think, as well as Matt Ritchie, our whole, the whole right side of our midfield may be gone. We might keep Ryan Fraser, and I think he's, I think he's pretty good in this game. But unfortunately, I think these three might have to be put on the chopping block, as well as, as, well as Chris Wood. We now have Callum Wilson and Alexander Isaac. I don't, I don't know if he's going to play. The first person that we're going to go into negotiations here, as you can see, is going to be Lewis Sinistera, wonderful potential baller in real life. Let's see if we can get him over to Newcastle United. The first bid I'm going to put in is going to be 30 mil. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they say about this one. And we've got him for 30 mil. Now, we don't have him, but we're going to need to see if we fit his wages. He wants the crucial squad role. I mean, he's going to be an asset on that right side. Even though it says left mid, we're going to convert him over to the right side. We'll give him that crucial. Five years, of course we'll give that to him. No, no release clause. Oh, no, I don't want to end negotiation. No release clause. What do we want to offer him? I'm going to say $45,000 a week. Dollars. 45k a week. As well as a hefty signing bonus. Hopefully, hopefully this gets across. 59. Oh, no, we're not for scoring three goals. No, 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 no. We can go ahead and get rid of that bonus. Let's see if we can get this down to 54. Let's see what we can do here. We don't want to break the bank. 61. Oh, let's see. I want this in the 50s. Uh, 55. Come on. 61. Oh, 58. Lewis Sinister is now a Newcastle United player. I love this new cutscene. We see him coming in, checking out the place. That, he doesn't look familiar. <laughs> and there's Eddie Howe, busy as always, shaking hands. Oh, there he is, doing the physical. Seems to be A-OK -okay for me. Show him holding that jersey. Show him holding that, there he is. Let's go, Lewis Sinister. I, wanna, I wonder what type of grade we'll get for this. They'll probably not give us a very good grade for this. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Unfortunately, <laughs> Almiron. Oh, no, that's it. Let's put Jacob Murphy on the on the chopping block first. We'll put him on the chopping block first. There we have Luis Sinistera. We are going into some strict negotiations here. We don't have that. We haven't sold any players yet. Nobody wants our players. And we're going into negotiations for Ben White. Now, we only have 38 mil left, so hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to pull this one out of the bag. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and go for 34 and see what they say. Oh, with a 10%? Let's, now, I want to knock this down to five and then we'll submit our offer. They just accepted our bid for Ben White. <laughs> Let's see. We have him in the office. Let's see if we can get Ben White in a Newcastle shirt. Four years? Yeah, we can go ahead and give you four years. No release clause. Remove the bonus. You'll be okay. We've secured Ben White to Newcastle. There he is. Welcome to Newcastle, Ben White. Oh, there we go. We love it. Let's see Eddie Howe shake his hand. And let's see what grade we get for this. There's Eddie Howe. Shake his hand. Let's see what they give us. I don't know if they're going to give us a good rating. He's 80 rated. That's huge. He's going to slot right in into the team there. A de decent buy. I thought we did pretty well there. Go ahead and slot Ben White right into that starting 11. This starting 11 is beginning to look a little good, you know. I, I, Jolinton and Willock, I, I, wanna, I want to keep Willock because he has great potential in this game. But 
Jolinton, I don't, I don't, I don't know. As much as I love him in real life, I don't know if he can remain in our FIFA team. Here we have our first offer coming in for Sean Longstaff, 7.2 mil. I want to see, you know what? We need all the money that we can get. Let's see, let's see how much we can negotiate this for. We got him for, we got, okay. I hopefully accept this 8.2 mil. That could be very useful. Another transfer coming in for Paul Dummett. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and straight accept this. Get the money coming into. We need we need the money coming in. The offers are coming in hot and heavy. Another offer for Javier Manquillo. 3.3. Ooh, we maybe they were paying them so much. 51k a week. Wow. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and negotiate some out of this. As long as we're getting more than what they're worth. Here we go. Here are the offers that we're looking for. We're not gonna sell Callum Wilson just yet. So I'm gonna block offers for Callum Wilson for now. But Chris Wood, we can definitely negotiate a little bit more. Let's negotiate this. Not in force, they're buying everybody. Let's go ahead and negotiate this. You're worth 8.2 mil. Oh, never mind. Well, that's an L. Jacob Murphy. I'll accept that offer for you. That is an L. I hope someone else comes in for Chris Wood. The transfers just keep coming in. Jacob Murphy, another transfer offer for him. Oh, I hope he accepts this. This is more. Dumb it. What are you doing? What do you mean broken down? Oh, every career mode I do and I try and sell Paul Dummett, he does this. What's going on? Hopefully this one works out for us. We need to get Paul Dummett out of here, but he doesn't want to leave the project that's Newcastle. Hopefully he accepts this one. That'll be a huge break on our wage budget. Jacob Murphy's, how is it broken down? What's going on? Ooh, West Ham is offering some good money for Miguel Almiron. Let's see if we can get this done. I'm going to see if I can up it to 16 million. And we're like, 16 million for Almiron. Huge. And there he goes. Jacob Murphy, thank you for being a good servant to the club. But we need the cash right now. We've got a big signing coming up. Also, we finally saw Paul Dummett. Crystal Palace are looking for an offer for Matt Ritchie. Let's go ahead and accept this. Another person out the door. Is that who I think it is? That's... Miggy, you were an amazing servant for the club. I really hope you continue your good form in real life. But this is FIFA. You gotta go. We need the cash. Out the door. Another one bites the dust. It is okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for your contribution to the club. But you need to go. We need the cash. Matt Ritchie, Crystal Palace. Only 2.1 mil? Now, we got 8.2 mil for Sean Longstaff the next time. Let's see if we can get that up again. 8.2 mil again. Is that who I think it is? Out the door. Sean Longstaff. Thank you for the cash. Baller in real life right now, but again, FIFA's a totally different ball game. First match. First match of preseason. I know a lot of people don't care about this, but I want the whole experience. It's the first match of preseason. Should we play it? Should it? No, let's go ahead and sim it. Please, guys. Let's see what they can do. Come on, guys. Do me proud here. Uh, well then, I, I know this is only preseason, but I, I, come on, guys. I, I think we should have this one, right? I think I think we should have this one. Hopefully, I uh, come on, guys. Do me proud here. Three points. What is going on? Sinister is scoring, but this is why this is a rebuild. This is exactly why this is a rebuild. Marseille has come in for transfer off for Chris Wood. We need the cash. I'm gonna see if I can get at least seven mil off. 7.5 mil for Chris Wood. Please, Chris Wood. We we may need to win this. Ben White. Let's go. Isaac getting on the scoreboard. Okay, we're looking we're looking good. Wait, we didn't get through? Oh, we didn't win it. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hopefully, we're going in and we're like looking good. I just need to sell one more player, hopefully. Again, if you guys want me to use the, the Youth Academy, let me know. I really wasn't planning on it. But again, let me know in the comment section down below. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Chris Wood, great servant to the club, kept us up, kept us in the Premier League. But 
I, I, I don't think we need you anymore, Chris. Well, thank you so much for being a great servant to the club. The person we are going after is none other. Bring him back to Newcastle. Mikel Marino. We need that experience, that strength in our midfield. Let's see if we can get him in a Newcastle shirt. I, I want to offer 42 mil. And let's see, let's see, let's see if we can get that. 58, oh, 51, okay. Uh, Non-negotiable, you know what? We're just gonna have to accept it. 51 for Mikel Marino. He's not in the Newcastle shirt yet. We need to meet his wage budgets. Let, let's see if we have enough money in the bank. Oh, crucial, of course you can get that crucial squad role. You're only 26, you'll be here until you're 30. Four year deal. Uh, no, no release clause. No release clause. We can accept that. We don't have this. <laughs> we may be the richest club in the world, but we don't have this type of money. Okay, we're going to have 32 pounds left. But, oh, wait, we can't. This is the most that we can do. Oh, we don't, we're not going to be. We need to sell a player. We can't afford him. We need to sell a player. We can't afford Mikel Marino. Wolves are interested in Jamal LaSalle's 5.3. We can. Now, this is our club captain. We can get more for this. Our club captain, a servant to the club, a man that loves Newcastle United. But unfortunately, I don't see a place for him in the squad anymore. LaSalle, thank you so much for your service. But Newcastle is on the way up. We're trying one more time. Mikel Marino, we need you back on Tyneside. Let's do, we did 50. Let's see if we can get away with 49 this time. Let's save a mil. Here's the key part right here. We need to meet his wage budgets. He expects a lot of money. We need to keep the board as happy as possible. Welcome back to Newcastle, Mikel Marino. Alrighty, the Premier League is about to start. I knew it was a long episode of just transfers and everything. We really needed to get the squad. We really needed to get the squad turned around. And it's looking like we did just that. This is looking. This is what it looks like we're going to take on the Premier League with. See you in the next episode. How are we going to do in the Premier League? Leave your comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe.